me and my sister are gonna go get um, something to eat and then maybe walk around the stores or do something because it'll be a little bit of like an exposure therapy for me. And then I think I'm gonna come back home and clean and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. supplements I need to bring because we're gonna eat at a little cafe or whatever b12 folate saffron for the anxiety magnesium vitamin d and then beef liver how is it that people do like their outfit checks hold on my room is a disaster this is what we're gonna clean today stained cotton on skims pants house slippers and a Marc Jacobs tote bag my mom got me outfit check <laughs> we really love this coffee shop but I haven't oh my god it's so loud we haven't been here in a while because when our grandma got sick and passed away like we we hadn't come here in like like two or three months yeah. right Casita yeah I'm gonna show you guys it's like so, so cute though. and like cozy and you know aesthetic -y. it's very beautiful <laughs> Look at the decor, how cute is this? Casita. We ended up deciding to just eat here outside. Look, I'm gonna show you what I got. Avo toast with eggs over medium. Salmon avo toast, that shit looks really good. It's delicious. <laughs> and then she got a pineapple mango smoothie and I got a matcha and then we got a sweet treat that's in there. We just got home after the coffee shop. We were just driving around and talking shit and just doing a little more of an exposure getting me out of the house and all that stuff now i'm home and i want to be productive i can't just be you know what i mean i feel like i have to be productive doing something i'm trying to drink more water it helps so much to have a mason jar that tells you how many ounces you're drinking and i added electrolytes in it which is why it's murky this is filtered water <laughs> this isn't like pond water even though it looks like it <laughs> that tastes like shit Ugh. I have to put a quarter of a scoop of the electrolytes because if I put the whole scoop and this is how much water I have to dilute it in 24 ounces of water if I put a full scoop of the electrolytes in the suggested amount which is eight ounces of water I will throw up so I dilute a quarter of the scoop into 24 ounces of water and it still tastes like sweet dirty ass pond water with like a hint of lemonade or some shit so what we're gonna do today is clean and then i have to edit some videos um but yeah that's what i'm gonna do today to feel productive i have told you guys before that i'm not organized i don't have good time management um and i just want the aesthetic vibes and i naturally don't have the aesthetic vibes naturally i'm scatterbrained and like quite uh messy so this filming area slash my room is a disaster this is such a disaster and then look this is one of look at this look at this this is real you guys like this is mm it's so bad it's so much i've already started right here as you can tell me putting things in bins i got these bins right here to kind of like get shit off the floor and put it in these bins so that it can be kind of like in a space and then maybe like in a later day i'll go and it'll be like one bin will be makeup one bin will be like skincare and something like that and i can even put them under the bed but for now, I just want it to be less of a disaster because it's a lot of stuff. Dude, I'm going to tell you something. I love, I, I was just about to be like, when I was broke and I would buy my own makeup, I'm still broke, but <laughs> let's be real. But now brands send me more makeup. So it's a lot of stuff to keep up with. And I don't live in a big space and a super like aesthetic -y, really big beautiful space like a like a lot of influencers so they have rooms to put all their shit in i don't i film literally one foot from my bed 
I live in a one bedroom apartment. My closet is missing the door. There's the door right there. Okay. My closet is another disaster. My sister's figuring that out because that's something that I will just not tackle because I am not good at that. I know my weaknesses and that is one of them. This though, although I'm, st I'm still not good at this because I'm not really great at like having a clean space. I'm not one of those people. I've always admired that. So I, I, I try my best to at least like once a month try to clean up, you know, but a lot of times I'm balancing other things and struggling with my mental health. So like the last thing I want to do is clean. But today we're going to clean together. Y'all are going to hold me accountable. All right, let's go. I have to stop talking so we can focus. Two seconds later. Actually, I went to before. This is the ADD kicking in, guys. Like it's me postponing anything. Like doing whatever to postpone cleaning. I went to Ulta and I got this lip plumper because I'm a lip plumper whore. I love a good lip plumper. I saw online that this, your face will fall off. So I'm like, oh, okay, I want to try it. So I like to do brutally honest reviews on my Instagram and my TikTok. If you guys don't follow me, follow me there. I'll put them here for you. And I like to test things out. So I test things out in my daily life so that then I could come back to you on Instagram and TikTok and be like, this is a piece of shit or this is amazing. And I'm going to test out this lip plumper now while we're together, while I'm cleaning to see what my thoughts are on it. And this is probably not a good idea. Look at how, oh, look at how dry my lips are. Let's, let's actually clean now. <laughs> I want to do everything except clean. My mouth is on fire and look, it's irritating the top of my mouth. I am, I'm washing this shit off. Oh my God. My mouth is on fire. Look, and I feel like it's in my nose. Okay, let's not do that again. This is filled with liquid blushes that don't fit in this drawer. Because it's basically already full. <laughs> it's full. It's easy to have a tidy space when you got a lot of space and you got... My food just got here. I ordered nachos because I kind of don't have an appetite for anything, but some yummy crispy nachos are like an easy eat. And I feel like I would really love that. Good morning. I only have two nails, two nails left. And I woke up with a little scratch on my face. So good morning. Leave it up to me to stay in bed for an hour. I have therapy in 20 minutes and I haven't had breakfast. So this is what I'm thinking of having. I'm boiling some eggs. I'm gonna put some sausage in the microwave and I'm gonna eat some protein waffles and I'm gonna try to eat it fast. And anybody that knows me, I'm not a fucking fast eater. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Look at these cute Sur La Table plate bowls that I bought recently. I got them at Home Goods, $3 each. It's 11.45. Oh my God, did I burn these? A little bit. Oopsies. <gasps> Look what's left of the egg. Okay. Okay, this is my breakfast. It looks so sad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat this. I'll see you after therapy. <gasps> Look at the way. Look at the way they're running. Oh my god, oh my god, she's going to the sand. <laughs> Mommy, come. My baby. <laughs> she was... Stop, the way AJ's running is sending me. He's running. <laughs> He's running. Oh my god, so cute. And the day is just so pretty. It's like sunny yet cloudy. If they find out that we're here, we're gonna get a $200 fine. So hopefully they don't see us. You out of breath? A little bit. <laughs> My baby girl. Love you, Juju. I was decluttering, but I just got so sad. So I'm just laying on the floor. I miss my grandma a lot. I feel like I'm one of those people that was like cursed with feeling a lot of things all the time and 
overthinking everything, my life, existence, <laughs> being scared of so many things. But just put my jacket on and just kind of want to lay here for a little bit. I was trying to declutter to keep my mind busy. But sometimes I feel like I'm not doing anything purposeful. Like I'm just doing busy work. That's what it feels like. De like the decluttering, that's what it feels like. It's just busy work. It almost feels like while everybody else gets to be productive, I just do fluff to keep my mind busy. Sometimes I'm like, I, I mean, I could be doing maybe something else. But... Over the course of the years that I've lived in this apartment, and you know how I told you guys I struggled with organization, like, um, not cleanliness, because, like, I'm a clean person, and, like, my space is clean. It's just not structured and not organized and essentially doesn't look like a Pinterest board. Like, the Pinterest home of my dreams doesn't look like that. So that's really my frustration with it. I hold on to a lot of stuff. I don't know where to put things. I don't have space for certain things. So I'm just, like, overburdened by the things that I own. And thus, they own me. <laughs> so basically, I said that because I'm, like, part of me is, like, so I guess it's purposeful, right? Because... I'm trying to declutter my space little by little. If you're a person that struggles with anxiety, if you, I don't know if you've ever like noticed this, maybe it's just me, but I almost feel like everything I do is almost just an effort to not be aware of the anxiety and to not think of the things I think about. And it's really exhausting. Sometimes you're like, I just want to be, you know? I want to go back to a time where I used to just be and just like live and exist without thinking about a million things. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not show me, show me. Yes, chef! <laughs> Mother's Day is coming up and to celebrate our mother, we're gonna do a fr <laughs> French Maybe <beef> crepes. <laughs> this is the pan and then just flipping the crepe. Yeah, because um, she likes ratatouille and so do we and we we just thought of that so yes, yes chef. chef es que yo creo que está muy caliente se cocina muy rápido no oh ese sí está saliendo bueno we gotta buy the tools oh yeah <laughs> my sister forgot to vlog so this is the aftermath. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing such a good job at keeping my kitchen clean. And then my boyfriend leaves this on the counter. These are, these are not my Tupperwares. These are his mom's. That he was going to clean <laughs> yesterday. And they're still there. Guys. Why do men? You know what I mean? I'm clearing up that counter space because I want to load the dishwasher with all the stuff that's in the sink, including his mom's Tupperware that he said he was going to clean. And I am going to set up my towel, my towel that has bleach on it. <laughs> I'm going to set it up right here. And I think that this is gonna give me the perfect amount of space to be able to clean my brushes. And then I put them here to dry. I think it's gonna be, you see? It's so much better than doing them in the bathroom because I have no space and I'm like hunched over and all of that. So I'm gonna empty out the sink and then load the, well, I have to empty out the dishwasher then empty out the sink, load the dishwasher and clean the sink because I need to sanitize the sink before I you know start putting my makeup brushes in there yeah happy Sunday <laughs> going on my evening walk right now and the lighting is terrible obviously but I highly recommend going on walks and the funny thing is you hear this all over the internet like walking walking hot girl walk all that stuff no serious shit 
walking is the best thing that you can do. Walking has helped my anxiety so much. I can't even begin to explain. Like, if I don't feel good, I go on a walk. It, oh my God, look at my hair. <laughs> oh, my hair is a disaster. Um, if I don't feel good, I go on a walk. If I don't know what to do next, like mentally I'm frazzled, I go on a walk. Anxious walk, whatever it is. I got ass pain, I'm going on a walk. I love walking and I really do recommend it. Walking with someone is nice and walking alone is really, really nice. You just walk around, think about stuff, listen to music, listen to a podcast. And you're also doing something good for your body physically, you know? So if you're struggling like me with your weight, walking is such an easy thing for most of us to just start doing. So I highly recommend it. You'll see the bet. Girl, I'm out of breath. You'll see the benefits for it super quick. Like I'm telling you, I've been like having anxiety attacks, and I'll leave on a walk. I will just leave my house, speed walking, in pajamas, tits out, like no bra. <laughs> like I just leave, and it helps so much. It really does. The resistance at the beginning is there. Trust me, I know. But once you're doing it every day you'll start doing it even multiple times a day and you'll feel the benefits and you'll love it you'll be addicted to it like me like i am a certified walker you know how people are runners i'm a walker bitch i walk every day <sighs> okay i feel like anytime i turn the camera on i just talk my head off <sighs> so yeah my cutie patooties thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i love you guys thank you guys for supporting me, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You hit the like button on this video. Mwah.